What's up, brother Gary? Wait for a couple more people, then we're gonna get started. Pour these libations. You remember? You remember pouring libations, young man? be starting in a second. I'm just posting up some stuff. Symbol count. I'm not really. What? When we pour the water, you's a genius, boy. I know you remember that. When we pour the water, you know what I'm saying? We salute the ancestors. Is that what we doing? That's what we about to do right now. Take that. Take that and goose and solve a challenge, man. Go on to that. Go on to that and and take that challenge. Also, for those interested in that ambrosia. Another second, please. I'm almost done. I am surprised I'm hyped this morning. It's going down today. My energy was real low last night. I am on I'm on day sixteen now. Um of my fast and I'm 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 feeling good right now. It's just I guess I got to time it so that when my energy start to go down, because my energy started going down when the sun started going down. Surprisingly, for those interested in that ambrosia, go to. You can support the journey and get you some. And we're about to take a very interesting turn today. I'm about to do another experiment. Right, because I was thinking bread is the staple of life. It has been the staple of life for a, a lot of people for a long time, but now uh, bread is killing. So I'm gonna do some experiments with some bread, right? Because it's a fermentation process to make bread. I don't know if y'all know that, right? You got the yeast. The yeast eat the carbohydrates in the flour, causing it to um, change and rise and then you bake that result right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment with the kombucha and wheat and see what type of process I can get going and bake some uh, some healthy bread you know what I'm saying because right now what I'm seeing a lot of people eat I'm seeing them eat carbohydrates which translate to sugar, which translate to diabetes, kidney problems, um, cancer, um, uh, um, uh, uh, inflammatory diseases. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. It always escapes me. Um, the, uh, the diseases where the body attacks itself. Hold on. I'm almost done and I'll be, y'all have my full attention. Autoimmune diseases, that's it. Damn it bro. Wow. All right. Man, fam. It's so good to see y'all this morning. I am, my energy is surprisingly high. Uh, I mean, when I get good ideas, uh, oh, Lord have mercy. I mean, when I get, when I get I, good ideas, I get excited. Woke up this morning, man, I had a, I said, damn, 
that bread thing hit me. I said, let me go and look into that. Because my son told me yesterday when we was in the grocery store that he wanted to bread, bake some bread. So I told him, okay, because I broke, I baked bread before. You know what I'm saying? Using whole wheat. And it wasn't a hard process. I mean, it's actually a workout. So I think I'm going to come up with that and have some ready for me when I break my fast. So for those that's wondering what's this on the screen, I'm not going to eat it. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all see that? Ooh. I'm glad I let it, let some of that loose. But I'm going to have to explain this to my wife. Now look at Y'all see it bubbling? This is what I was talking about yesterday. This is the cabbage stew that I'm brewing for when I break my fast. Right? So I'm going to go and clean this up. So y'all give me a second. But this right here. It's fermented and you can see the action. You've seen it. If you didn't see this, it spilt on me. It came out, came rushing out, right? So I got to tighten it back up. I'm glad I, I loosened it up. This is the cabbage stew that I've been working on, right? It only took a couple of minutes to put together, but this will provide my body with a lot of probiotics that I need and it will release the nutrients of the cabbage, the onions, the garlic, the thyme, the uh, ginger, um, and the carrots, right? Autoimmune diseases where the immune system attack perfectly, that's right, right. And it's attacking, and what they're starting to find is that there's a connection between autoimmune diseases. And if I'm correct, you was trying, you, you're going to become a doctor, right? Mr. You're going to become a doctor, right? Because one of the fields that you might want to check out, little brother, is... The microbiome, they're doing a lot of new studies on the microbiome. It's a wide open field. I ain't going to say it's wide open, but it's a, it's a new field that they are, that is being developed. Check out, check it out, microbiome, right? And the, the, the health benefits, or better yet, all of these diseases that are connected to the microbiome. I, and I know if you study uh, medicine, you had to run across um, the microbiome and how important it is. So if you become somebody that know how to do that, man, you're going to be able to help heal a lot of people in our community. So right now, I'm doing a lot of research on it, and all of the autoimmune diseases, there's correlations between the microbiome and the, bio, uh, and, and the microorganisms in the gut and uh, the microbiome. There's correlations between it and diseases like uh, diabetes and um, kidney disease. There's even some correlations between the gut um, the gut bacteria and what goes on during colon cancer and I mean so and then on top of that they have found connections between the gut bacteria and the uh, mental health of people so it's almost like they could take a poop sample and be able to tell you whether or not you're schizophrenic so you might want to really check that field out So, what y'all saw was the fermentation process in action. So, that's on maybe day two and already. It's ready to be eight, but I can't eat it yet. <laughs> All right, so we're about to do our toast. I want to thank those that's been dropping in. What's up, brother Kwame? Brother, you just missed it, man. I came up with another idea, right? So, you ready? You ready for this? Well, first, great Coogee Chagalia to you. Gary Lamont, Hester, great Coogee Chagalia to you. Um, Gary, if you don't understand, take the Nguza Saba Challenge so that you can catch up with the lingo. You know what I'm saying? We're building our own language. We're taking the symbols back, right? That's the first step in the Nguza Saba Challenge. But check this out. You know... In Kemet, bread was a major player in the health of the people, 
right? But now we get news that bread is the one of the one of the number one killers in our community, right? Because you got you got the carbohydrates, you got the they're making the bread in the factory. The bread is going through a quick process. It's thrown in the oven. It's baked, and a whole step of the process is missing because. I don't know if people know this, but bread is a fermented food. It's fermented. It's supposed to be fermented. And the question is, what is the fermentation process? It is the same process through which I take the ambrosia. Which means that I can make ambrosia bread. I can make that ambrosia bread. So not only can you drink that ambrosia, but you can also get it with the bread. Now, what does that do with the bread? What makes this bread, what would make this bread different? Now, this is this is the idea. You know what I'm saying? The hypothesis, right? If bread originally used to be fermented, but it's not being fully fermented right now, people are getting straight carbohydrates. But we know that when we put bacteria and yeast and allow it, to digest the sugars, it leaves the other good stuff that you need. So, I am going to see what happens when I use the kombucha, or at least the kombucha starters, or the kombucha, the, 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 the vinegar, the, the yeasty part of it, and use it to make bread. And I'm going to use that bread to help break my fast. See? Bread bread was a major thing. But now, now they're talking about bread killing us. You know what I'm saying? They reach the rich, the, the wheat. The, you know what I'm saying? They're not letting the shit fat. I mean, they're not letting it. They're not letting it ferment. And we, you know what I'm saying? So now, we're about to experiment. And we're about to see about doing this whole fermentation process. Dude, I'm not playing with this. When I say that the goal of Giami Journey, or my fault, G and J, because Giami Journey got a whole nother goal because we doing the, the life care and the self-mastery culture. But G and J, G and J, that ambrosia, to eliminate all diseases related to the gut within our tribe, dude, that shit is doable. That shit is easy, right? Tribe, the tribe ain't that big. You know, when other people embrace the vision, then we'll be able to talk about the community. And then we'll be able to talk about the nation. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, dude, we I, this we on some shit right now. Hell, can you imagine ginseng bread? I mean, with the with 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 the starter of the ginseng or 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 um um uh death eater bread. Because I do have I do have a, a specific scoby that's just sitting learning how to consume just that death eater tea. So it's yeast in there that's made from that death eater process. From the um uh, dandelion root and burdock root. Right? So I'm first I'm gonna start with the regular ambrosia, but shit dude, hey, well we could take this. The sky's the limit. Of course, this is gonna be friends and for, for friends and family only. I'm not, I'm not fucking around. I'm not, I'm not becoming a baker. Now, Clee might want to, Clee might want to take a little bit farther, but I'm not becoming a baker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a brewer. I'm gonna bake for me, right? I'm gonna bake for my meetings, tribe, and stuff like that. Other than that, nah, that ain't me. All right, so now, nah, family, y'all know I gotta take, I gotta take at least. One to the head, you know, you got this good got got this good nature liquor here. It's called water for all those that's not familiar with it, right? The the blood of Mother Earth, right? Take a sip. Come on, drink with me. So I'm going to go out and get me some whole wheat, whole wheat, 
pure. I want the whole goddamn seat. You know what I'm saying? If it don't say, when I read the back, that we ground this, I'm going to find the stone ground whole week. And I'm going, to, I'm going to start that experiment today. So by the time that I come off this Sunday after 9, y'all see the time keep going back. Because <laughs> it was. I'm not going to stop until, until, Cody Chuck, dang, I old push-ups. Until Moja. But on Imani at 9 p.m., I'm going to be able to pull some of this out of the oven i'm gonna be able to uh i know you can't see it brother kwame but i just had um a thing because i did a show where i demonstrated how to make um cabbage stew a fermented cabbage stew i'm gonna pull that out and pull out some beets and pull out an egg all these things have been fermented and i'm going to eat Right? I am going to break my fast with all fermented foods. Alright, so I'm going to take another sip. I'm running my mouth. Today we're going to be talking about beets. How to um, ferment the beets. Powerful. Powerful. Alright? Hmm. Mm. Mm. All right. All right, For Brother Kwame, I put the cabbage back up but I mean it has black seed in there too I'm gonna lie it's, this is gonna be good this is gonna be good all right so bring them out 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 all right first giving on to the creator we call him the creator and we thank the Creator for allowing us to have another day. We lift up our glass and we salute the Creator by whatever name you choose to call that Creator. We call that great energy um, the Creator of the multiverse, the universe, or however you look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's enough room for all of our perspectives. So we lift up our glass and we thank that Creator for giving us life, for giving us the ancestral line, for making us a generational people. For giving us a struggle because it's through struggle we become better people and become more powerful, right? We toast and lift up our glass and we say our shake. From there, we toast our personal ancestors, our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our mothers and our fathers, our aunts and our uncles, our friends and our cousins. And we thank them for being involved in our lives. We thank them for helping making us into the people we are today. We lift up our glass and salute them. We lift up our glass and we remember them. We pour libations into ourselves because within us is where our ancestors dwell, right? Within us is where our ancestors dwell. And also, you know, of course, all the way around, I mean, because, he, you know, it's multidimensional and whatever, boom, boom, boom. But hey, by us taking care of ourselves, we take care of our ancestors. We make sure that their legacies can continue. So we lift up our glass to our personal ancestors. And I ask everybody out there to build your family pyramid. Not a family tree, but a family pyramid. Right? Because with the family tree, you are, in a sense, at the bottom. Right? And everything else branches out or something like that or whatever. But with a family pyramid, we get to look down upon the shoulders we stand upon. You are the highest point of the pyramid at this point in time until you have children. Then they're the high, highest point of evolution for your family and the highest level that we have reached. Now, this is the question. If you, are at the, if you represent the highest in the evolution of your family, of your family line, 
what the hell are you saying to the universe? You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, if you are the, the apex of millions of years of evolution or whatever you believe in, millions of years of people coming together to mate and, and you are the final product and you are sitting at the apex, are you representing that? See, this is what we got to make sure our children understand, that they, have, they represent something bigger than themselves. And we need to make sure that some of these adults understand that they represent something bigger than themselves. Just in 20 generations, Brother Kwame could work this out in his head. Just in 20 generations, if we go back 20 generations, the number is almost a million, if not over a million people happen to be in the exact right place at the right, exact right time to make you. And all these people, right? If you are not building, if you are not making sure that the bloodline is continuing and powerful, wasted their goddamn time. Brother Kwame, am I right with my math? If we go back 20 generations and we look at, like, for example, in order to make me, it took two people. In order to make those two people, it took four people. In order to make those four people, it took eight people. In order to make those eight, it took 16. If we go all the way back 20 generations, is it about a million? Hell, Mr. Hester, you should be able to tell me that. Because I remember you was damn near mad, uh, uh, a damn near mad genius. Peace uh, to Hafa Hassan. All right, so now, so we toast our ancestors, and we say, not, not yet, say your ancestors. Right, so here we go. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Texana Davis. Herman Brown Sr. Uh, Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert the Texana Davis, Herman Brown C, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walter, Chris Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Margaret Ellis. Geneva Brown. Cleveland Brown. Wash Ellis. Cecil Ellis. Alvira Brown, Gina Gaines, Barbara Twiggs, Herman Brown the second, Two to the twentieth people that makes one man a woman in the genetic pool that he is she is so is it about a million? All right, um, let's go to John Fillard, Jeremiah Tappan. Jamon Jones. Uh, Jamon Jones. Montague Pitmanel. Normal X. Sapat Ma Ra. Dr. Marianne Williams. Tony Clark. Past Yusuf Weston. Elder Harrison Donaldson. Donaldson and uh, Farmer. Elder Millie. I think that's her name. I'm, I still got to find that. Um, somebody put up Michael Jackson. No, well, that's not a personal ancestor. Good try, Mr. Hassan, but that's not a personal ancestor. Um, we toast all of our personal ancestors, right? We remember them. We remember them because we... They remembered us when we couldn't remember ourselves. They taught us who we were. We lift them up and we say, I say, from there we move to this present moment. Today is Kuji Chagalia, and we lift up our glass. The day of self-determination, 
What a great and marvelous day it is. I'm feeling extremely good. So I'm going to get out and get it while I can. Um, so we're going to lift up our glass for this moment because this is where our power is. We toast and we say our shade. We toast our future. We toast our children, our children's children, onto infinity because everything we do, everything we think, everything we act upon affects our children. So we want to remember this as we move forward, right? So we lift up our glass to our children. We toast them now so that they could toast us later. And we say, Ashe. Last but not least, family, I toast you. Toast you through your struggles. And I ask that our ancestors make you, our ancestors, bless you and guide you and strengthen you. All right? With that, Brother Hatem. And I'm going to say peace.